I feel like I should get more respect. And then I realized, like, oh, there's just a simple way to, to get respect. Like, why have I never done this? You can use it tonight. You can take it away with you. You can use it no matter what your gender is. If you're like, I'm not getting respect because I'm a gender. Your sexuality, your age, if you're from Lauren, it doesn't matter. <laughs> what your disability is. There's a way. <laughs> Sorry. There's a way to get respect, and tonight is the best place to do it. If you want to get respect in life, all you need to do is a busy place like this. Go to the bar, order yourself like five pints, and put four around the edge and one in the middle. And if you want instant respect from strangers, all you need to do is just very, very slowly take those pints and leading with the arse, just start balancing them through a busy area of people. All right, five pints. If you want instant respect, because straight away, lads, lads will be knocking their mates out of the way, going, fucking let that fella through there, whoa. <laughs> Look what he's carrying, let him through. And, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, sorry, thank you. Oh, sorry. Parents kicking their kids out of the way, fucking let him pass. Thank you. Thank you so much, thank you. Sorry about this, thank you, thank you. Five pints, people respect that. You wanna take it up a level, you can do. You know, pe people are opening doors for you, you know? Applauding. Go ahead, mate, you can do it, you can do it, mate. I'm just taking them back. You wanna take it up a level? Simple. All you do is walk past your five pints and some guy will go, fair play to you, mate, five pints, unbelievable. That's when you go, mate, do you think that's all I'm carrying? Five pints, look in my back pocket. <laughs> Two wee bottles of white wine. <laughs> he's taking care of the ladies as well. Oh my God, he's... <laughs> he's taking care of every one guy, seven drinks. <laughs> that gets respect, like my dad, you always want to impress your dad. My dad never knew I could carry that many drinks. So I'm at a family birthday, I was carrying like five pints across the dance floor. My dad's like a real man's man, he's not very emotional. My dad took me aside at the end of the night, he goes, son, we knew you could carry three pints. Four maybe, but five pints? And a wee bag of potato under your arm? I love you, son, you know, and he never said it. He never said it up until that point. And I'm, I'm not the first guy to do this. You know what I mean? I'm not the first guy to do this. It's happened throughout history. If you remember a wee book, you might have read some, you might have read it some, you might not. Uh, the Bible? <laughs> I just said it like that because I'm aware of as well as looking like a young mummy. I also look like a youth minister. All right, I'm... A hundred percent, I look like a youth minister. The sort of guy who would try and do things a wee bit differently. You know what I mean? <laughs> he, he has a scooter. You know what I mean? He's... he's He's causing mayhem at the parish, you know what I mean? Ukulele on his back. <laughs> Gets beat up at Sunday school by the kids. D comes back every week, you know what I mean? That's also the face I have. If we remember the story of Moses, uh, remember in the Bible, God was like, Moses, take the Jews somewhere. I remember Moses was like, Jews, come on. He'd taken all the Jews. He, didn't, he wasn't that aggressive, right? But he, he would, Jews, come on. Come on. Well, he, he wouldn't have said, if he was, Good banter, he would have went. Jews come on, Jews come on me, come on. Come on. Jews have to come, God says Jews have to come on me, come on. Come on. Bit of banter between him and God. The guy's like, what'd you say? He's like, nothing, nothing. Jews come on me. And the Jews were being attacked by someone, so Moses had to lead them to safety. I don't know who was chasing them, I haven't read it, but I think it was UVF or something, right? And, I think, I think, I think, and fat bastard and two legs and the boys, right? And <laughs> <laughs> and you remember, remember Moses was lost because he was to lead them to safety, but he's like any of our dads, absolutely lost, under pressure, trying to get somewhere. And like you think of the pressure, millions of Jewish people behind them. God's watching, and there's a load of wee monks writing all this down, going. I would have taken a left back there, but no. 
What did Moses do? Millions of Jewish people behind him were like, mate, you need to get us to safety. And Moses was standing at the beach. I don't know, Bundoran, right? I don't know. <laughs> but you remember he didn't panic. You know what I mean? Moses didn't panic. He just stood at the sea and he's like, ah, oh, bollocks. Well, no one said that in the Bible, right? But he goes, ah, oh, bollocks. And they were down at the sea, millions of Jewish people behind him. He had to get them to safety. They were about to be attacked. Moses kept his cool. I right, just found himself a bar nearby, got himself about 20 pints, and then he very slowly <laughs> just started walking towards the Red Sea, just very, very slowly. And the Red Sea saw this and was like, fucking moot. Yeah, let that fella through. Come on. Go ahead, mate. Go ahead. You made it through. I'm only joking, I know that didn't happen. It was UDA, right? I know. I know, 